Hi, it's Beth here from the Speech and Language Garden. I think we need to have a little look at the memory and processing course that I've got online. So I'm going to try and put myself in the corner. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so here's my website, the speechandlanguagegarden.com. And um, whilst you're on the website, make sure you get any freebies um, that you haven't already downloaded, and also read some uh, some of the blogs and the information that I get in there. But um, before, you, before you do that, have a look at the courses page. So you click on online courses, um, and here's all of the courses that I've got um, on my website at the time that I'm recording this. I have got plans to make more. So scrolling down to the memory and processing difficulties course, um, here's where you can learn how to support children of all ages um, in any different type of setting, whether that's a preschool, primary school, infants or juniors, um, secondary school, or an alternative provision setting, because that's actually where I work. That's where I've done the majority of my working when I've worked in paediatrics. Um, this course is packed with theory and practical activities for you to do with uh, individual children in your setting um, or with groups of kids or even actually some whole class activities you can do. So you click here for more information and it takes you over to um, the course platform where I host all of the courses online. So you can actually log in on any device. Um, I'm using clearly my PC at the moment, but um, you can also log in on your phone or your tablet device, which means that if you want to just double, quick, double check one of the um, demonstration videos before you go into doing an activity, before you um, start your day, you can just quickly have a peek on your phone. There's unlimited access to all of these videos. Um, so here's where you would have a little look for any more information. Um, this course is suitable for interventions for children and pupils of any age, like I mentioned, um, I work with children and pupils of any age, um, all the way from 18 months up to 18 years. In fact, there's a few adults on my caseload at the moment, but that's not for memory and processing. Um, it might be that you might have a child in your class who's struggling with the work they're doing. Um, they're in the lower ability group, but they just, they just don't quite qualify for any SEND provision or any extra over and above provision that you need to do in your setting. Um, there might be a child who really struggles with their processing and can't just can't follow instructions very well. They always seem to be copying the other children or they'll just do the first bit or the last bit of the instruction that you've given them. Um, perhaps their retention is really poor despite you teaching something to them over and over again, um, especially if it's a new topic or a new skill, something like halving or fractions or picking up you know, a new times table and they're just really struggling with it. It's these kind of children that would benefit hugely from you picking up um, some of the strategies and activities demonstrated in this course. There's some other um, highlights and some other profiles and, and issues that the children might have. For example, they might really struggle with reading comprehension um, or trouble kind of understanding or identifying the main idea of what they've just said or literally reading something and then talking to your partner about what you've just said or what you've just read is a real challenge for these children. These are those children that I want you to have in mind when you're thinking about this course. So this course, as you can see, it's online. Um, it's all pre-recorded, so it's all ready to go. There's no waiting for a certain date, or you might have to, you know, find cover for your class so that you can go and attend the course. You can do this whenever you like. Um, you know, you do it in your PPA time, or you do it in your pajamas, whatever you fancy. Um, it's online, like I said, and you can use it with any device. Um, you can even actually play the videos during some of your staff training if you want to in some of your um, after you know your after school Wednesday afternoon staff meetings if you find that you need to fill you know, six or seven minutes just play one of my videos help yourself um, there's always down um, bo bonus downloadable um, resources that I include in my courses because I want to give you as much information and as much as possible in these courses anyway so you can have a bit more read of this page um, I've already told you about the bonuses. Ah, what are the benefits? Well, you're going to get some better understanding of memory and processing difficulties faced by some of the children that you work with, whether that's in preschool, primary school or secondary school. Hopefully you'll get a little confidence boost to working with these children. And if you've been asked to do some interventions with this child who's struggle with, struggling with their comprehension skills and their memory and processing skills, you'll be like, that's fine. I'll just do one of the activities on Beth's best course no problem help yourself you will definitely see progress in the children you've worked with I've been doing this job as a highly specialist speech therapist for years and years and I definitely see progress in the children that I've set these activities for okay and the best thing is that you'll be able to use these skills next year and the year after so you you'll have more more children unfortunately who will have memory and processing difficulties but you'll be able to still retain these skills and strategies and easy, easy activities that you can do with these children. And loads of these activities are low prep, so you don't even have to do any photocopying or anything like that. So, you just click on any one of these, help yourself to read some more information on this page, and you click on one of these uh, to get started now. Hopefully this works for me here. Oh yes, uh, it's this one. Load it all up. So, 
it's all here, it's all online. Um, there's some different modules here, so there's introduction in theory, and then I've got some demonstrated videos and then some bonus stuff there as well. So there's a welcome video. An introduction in theory. I'm hoping it's loading these videos. Ah, yes, there we go. So here. Here's, oh, there I am in the corner. So here's where I have, sorry, I've done a PowerPoint presentation, but this is really important. It's in this presentation, actually, where I talk to you about what is memory, um, how it works and how it impacts on children's learning. Uh, what else have I done? Oh, some prevalence and patterns. So you might see it um, occurring in different age groups, for example, or in different genders or um, different economic backgrounds. Uh, there's some profiles and red flags. In fact, actually, there's a, a checklist here for you to print off. That's it, a print off here and use in your classroom as well. So you can help yourself to that. Let's go back to that video. Okay, there we go. What else do we do? Oh, the rest of the training course. <laughs> so the rest of the training course is how you can help. There's some strategies um, that you can be using in your setting and um, some activities that you can use with the students that you're working with and then some bonus downloadable stuff. Uh, shall we have a little look, see what she says next? Things like that. And then you'll be able to use these strategies and activities from this course with the children that you're working with now, but also in the future. With there you go. So that's kind of what this this um, one video looks like. Let's have a look at another one. Oh, the I went shopping game. This is genuinely my favourite game. And I've got a couple of special guests. There we go. There's one I made earlier. This is my oldest daughter, Sophie. I think it's really important if I'm showing you how to do the activities, it's really important to show you how it genuinely works with children. So um, I actually paid her a fiver for this uh, to help me with these, uh, do some of these videos. Um, and they did really enjoy it as well, actually. And one, I think one of the other videos my other daughter um, occurs as well. Um, so here, actually, we're playing the I Went Shopping game and there's, there's no resources. That we don't actually have to use any you know, any pre-prepared stuff. Um, so that's really, really handy, I think, especially in my working when I've worked with teaching assistants um, and teachers in the past. You guys are already so, so busy. So if you can already um, use, a, use a game like the I Went Shopping game or the Pass the Pen. Oh, you need a pen for the Pass the Pen game, to be fair. Shall I show you it? Let's have a look. Right. Hello, it's Beth Warren here from the Speech and Language Garden and Sophie is here again to help me uh, to show you how to play some really quick no prep games to support children with their auditory memory difficulties. Um, and one of my absolute favourite classics to play is the Pass the Pen game. Although Sophie's never heard of it, so I'm going to tell you how we play it. This is a memory game, so we have to remember what the other person has said and it's Okay, so all you need for that game is a pen, and I'm sure you can find one of those in school. Actually, also, you might want to extend out and use a pair of sunglasses or a pair of keys or anything that you can find, really. So that's one of my favourite fun, fun games. Um, what else am I going to tell you about here? I'm going to tell you what there's another game there, an Echoes and Recalling game, and actually there's a, a downloadable PDF for you for that one, and I think also for the Opposites game as well. I wanted to give you as much resources as you, as you can get for some of these activities. Um, and again, for, so for this one, there's strategies, there's a video, a little, little three minute video. So you just pop in, watch a video and then pop out and go, and, you, know, you can actually watch this while you're boiling the kettle, um, on some strategies to help students in your setting supporting their auditory memory. These are really, really good for older students, so key stage two, key stage three. Um, to be able to help them, um, so there's strategies for the staff to use and then also strategies for the pupils to be able to use as well. What I found really um, essential with some of these um, videos and activities that I'm suggesting is that I'm aware that you can be working in a different um, a setting which might be a preschool, primary school or secondary school. So I'm showing you these um, videos and talking about how to differentiate these down for the age of the child that you're working with and also their ability. Um, and then also on top of that, what motivates them? Because if things aren't fun, then they don't get done. So it's always worth having in mind the child that you're, or child or children, little group of children that you're working with um, when you're looking at these videos to see how you can really adapt these games and activities to the children that you're working with. Uh, the last uh, downloadable bonus is my intervention record sheet and these are super offset friendly actually so you can just pop in and um, you just download this and there's, I think it's actually also a freebie on my website so you just pop in the date, the activity you did and then the outcome and um, so what um, was it easy, was it difficult, did you manage to get eight in a row before everybody forgot, um, was it um, 
challenging enough or do you need to make it a, step it up and make it a bit more trickier next time um so this is how you can record the interventions you've done and then also how successful they've been and you can also use this in part of your evidence base for your annual reviews for example or for your ieps those sort of things so once you've completed the course you will get a certificate it automatically downloads one if you just if you just click complete for everything and then you continue through to the end uh, then you can get a certificate and help yourself to it uh, yeah let's leave this one here um, and then that's it if you have any questions you're always welcome to email me anytime um, the speech and language garden at gmail.com or you can um, contact me via my website the speech and language garden com, or you can find me on any of the social media platforms you just type in uh, speech and language garden in the search box and up i will pop um, so i hope this has been a really uh, fun and interesting look into the memory and processing course for you and i'll see you in another video bye